Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everyone, Silver Spoon here, and today is another matchup. We welcome you back here for the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. I'm Silver Spoon. And I'm, of course, Test 2. And tonight is another matchup. They're about to take things on for the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference as well. So, now this part of the game we're about to be seeing, this one is going to be all for everything. The Flyers have made their way into the postseason for the first time in the franchise history of the NHL and EA Sports. They're looking for some help here, and they want to find out if they can definitely take all this in courtesy to take over since 2011. Now the better matchups are in between the Flyers and the Hurricanes. Let's have a look at your starting goaltenders for the Philadelphia Flyers. Travis Kuninsky has it all had this superstar ability. There are no X-Factor players, so they're all for superstars in between. Take the tape, Greg also creates crasher, no contest, and relentless ways that he can definitely take all for Travis Kuninsky. Then it's Carter Clark, your starting goaltender for the Philadelphia Flyers. He has a post to post to make the good saves in between, and also shows a showstopper. He has a great saving ability as well. Then it's Sean Couture, he has an unstoppable force and also magnetic. He also makes him a great stick him up ability, and definitely a yoink for the great defensive stick flips. And finally it's Owen Tippett, with wheels and beauty backhand. Now let's send you over down to the other side as Carolina Hurricanes have three X-Factor players. Starting with Sebastian Ako, he has it all covered in through this percentage of his skills. The contest knows for third eye ability, he makes that passer. And Elite Vision is putting up a good saving bound and he's looking to get more to it tonight. Then Jacob Slavin, which of course he has a shutdown ability, might be turning it away for other legal reasons. It's not just that, it's all what he does to stay inbound and try to make him work. And finally we have this Andrei Snechikov. He has a skilled up challenge. He makes it like a little cross boost. And it's just nobody has done that. He wants to do it like this here in the postseason. And this is what he can do to try to keep on going. If you ever seen Andrei Snechikov, check up here in the calling card of how he did a lacrosse move right in between. There are some other NHL players that does a lacrosse move. With the hockey stick and the puck and get a goal, that might be amazing. Sometimes there's also a last game. Great one for Alex, Alex Ovechkin too. They've done a lot of them to go right in between. And your superstar we have is Frederick Anderson with a butterfly effect. That will be the starting goaltender with Martin Neckes and Brett Burns, along with Tiro Teravainen and Jordan Stahl. These guys definitely don't have any of our X-Factor players, but hopefully we'll get to see what Anderson does, if he can take it from here. The next commentator I will have is Pink Rush, and he's along with Son of Beast. And finally, the third commentary that will be in the center ice position, will all call for what? You know the name. It's what he does, light ball. And we'll see you all again later soon for the most games and, of course, three-star players with the statistics scores. See you all later, everybody. Sorry, quick update. Prince Konchenko will be the starting goaltender for the Carolina Hurricanes. And a, and a backup lineup for the goaltender is Spencer Martin. We haven't seen those guys playing it right in between for the Carolina Hurricanes, but let's find out if they do. Now on to the PNC Arena. Good evening everyone, we're at Carolina, ready to start the third game of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. I'm Big Brother along with Santa Beast. This is NHL on EA Sports, the coverage of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. And here we go, starting goaltenders in between a shanty pack, and of course, the one of our best, you know the name, it calls for one, it falls in, Josh Park. Here we go, on to the start. Slayton gives it over to Candace Chetchikov. With the start of this game, appearances as the Flyers have been making their way into the playoffs, 
but they're finally are back, ready to take them on. They're on the way to make them changeable. They've got to watch out for one of the superstar factors of the players. They have it all coming here down. He scores! Wow! The Rocket puts in for Jacob Slavin, a first goal of the night. Watch what happens. Because Jacob Slavin, he was firing it across, made it deep, passing to Ursin. This was nowhere a lot. I have not seen what he was doing it, but that was like a big bang or attackers. There's no way that they can ever answer at that point. They want to see what they can do. But it's start of a run, it's a one nothing lead for the Hurricanes. Now with the win, here's Senheim. He will have that puck in range now finding Farabi. He finds left it. In the middle, that's it blocked up and now he finds again to Ajo. He now finds Sarabainen over into the middle. Try to look for some deep in hell. Sandine lost that puck. Svechikov has that puck. Now gives it again to Akko. Hurricanes are in transition looking for pass-offs. That puck leaves the zone and then Slavin will take a carry. Dump the zone into the Flyers territory. The icing is called here on the Carolina Hurricanes. You know, the one thing that happened to be the Flyers, the Flyers, they have to be everybody. They can't leave them all on their own. Here's the call we have a touch to. Jacob Slavin is one of our biggest rivals of attackers. This is whatever happened to be one of his better shutdown ability. He's been turning to be all for his every courtesy to make him along the way. It sometimes happens. It doesn't get well enough to try to keep out of sight. But let's find out if he makes it another Slavin to go with the lockdown defense to cover it off. Paintbrush over to you. Good stop by Chansonkov. He'll be his first save of the night with only 17.23 to go. Ready to take another face off. It is still currently clear. A 1 0 lead in the game. The win puts in for Sennheim and now finding your shot. Way wide off the mark. That's best for God. Putting goes down. Great use of the stick for Nekas as he keeps the puck alive in the Flyers' territory. Drew is in behind the net, looking for some open passes across. Finds a good pass to Nekas. He's half to over the pass. Shoots! Saved by Gerson. That'll be his first save of the night for the Flyers. Skudgy across, saved by Gerson. Now stop the play with only 16 16 to go in the first period. Ready to take the face off in. It's still a 1 0 lead in the game. Win puts in for Sennheim, and now another one for Flyers back on the way. Here's Harvey, you'll have a chance. Slide the puck, move over. Yes, we'll have that puck in right into the Swedish zones, and now he finds a pass over. Martin have lost that puck as Lafton has it. Lafton spins a move, shoots, he scores! Lafton with his first goal of the playoffs. He now has that one up. 83 goals in the playoffs of the season. There's no other way that Scott Lapton was able to do one of his trickier moves, but he had that one goal coming in. And it all happened to be being a goaltender right away. This is no question why that Lapton was going over and under it, and that one deflected off the stick. It just went behind that net. It didn't get enough to go in for our Chaknikov. He had to do better. Teams are tied up with one, and this one starts off in the range here to 1-1 one, one score. Now here's York. He will have that puck in range. The pass has been broken up. Jarvis lost that one. Pass dumps the puck out and into the Flyers' territory. Icy's whistle on Carolina, ready for another faceoff. Another faceoff coming in for the current Canes of the Flyers. Still a one, it's now a tie game. Wynn puts in for York. Here's a high shot, that gets to flick it. Stahl giving it over to Pets, and back to Stahl. He gives it Jarvis. Jarvis lost that puck as Forster has it. Here's Lofton shot, saved by Chekhov. Puts that soft, has gotten a good piece of it here, but without Anderson, he really must have maintained it well. But he might find himself how he can handle it, of course, if he can try to stop one in. Well, the pressure makes sense because of what happened to the Frederick Anderson. He might have had his contract in there, 
but sometimes it doesn't really help to maintain that one at all. He wants to try to like keep it amount, but it's no way for him. He's trying to look for some clear open open look to get it going. Saved by Urson on the other side. Contest with the puck. Now with only 13.30 to go. Halbaway goes down. Here's Nozen. Nozen trying to cover it out. The pass broke it up. Nozen's recovered it. Halfway has that puck. On a range inbound. Halfway. Try to pick the poke check. Save he scores! Cuts has that first goal of the playoffs. That's now 19. Unfortunately for Kodesikov, that happened to be a broken injured, and that one broke out. It just kicked the puck in there, and it just sent whipped in it, and it happened like this. This is nowhere to get close and by, and this one got pushed by Pad. That happened to be a little bit of injured, and like a little error for the Hurricanes. With an error devastation, it's Noah Katez. He has that first goal with the playoff in range. It's now a 2-1 lead. A lot of great hustling in the making. It's a start for the Flyers. Here's Zeller. He'll have that one in range coming in. Trying to cover puck and bound. Kicks it out. Good takeoff. Here's Shretchikov on a pass. Shoot, save it away by Harrison. He scores! Put a range in there. Svenchikov rebounds the puck. First goal in the playoffs. You know what happens? Svenchikov really had that puck. If, if Thurston didn't get that save in fucking time, he didn't really think he was going to be able to make it. But that one just slid by. He just really had to take, take him over with a lot of huge timeout, but that didn't really change the opinion. It didn't really work for him, so he had no other choice, but he was going to try to save it, but that one kept on coming. They should have called it. They would have said, no goal whatsoever. They should never let this one come in by. And now they have that goal. The first power, power play comes on for Philadelphia. And that will be a tripping call for Svechikov. First penalty kill is on the Carolina as the power play is on for Philadelphia Flyers. Wins again, and here's Emula's shot. Dark gets blocked in traffic. Bunting has it across. Slavin will kick it out. Tippett try to give it over to Forster. He now finds it to Frost. Frost to the cut. This one stopped there. And he will clear that puck out of here. Flyers are back in the offensive zone. Now finding Forster. And Frost right toward the right. Burns has it across, he will kick it out. Bunning will try to clear the puck out of here. Give off to Urson, and Tippett will have it. Here's Forrester with the puck. 11 minutes remaining in the first period, says a tie game. Frost to Samuel's shot, blocked by Drury. Good save by Chastikov. Orlov, Kevin able to clear that out. Farby trying to battle up tacker by Bunning. Michael Bunning keeps that puck out. Now he kicks it out of here into the Flyers territory. Zamulus got that puck. His time is almost up, ready to go. Shoots, saved by the goaltender. And man, it vanishes off, and the power play is over for the Philadelphia Flyers for the start of the first game. That has turned to be a one terrific way that they can try to handle that one off. This is a great use of a defensive set of work. They are trying to keep that one out of here, and a great percentage keeps on coming. They've got to get going. New line group substitution, and now he finds Sarah Bynan. Here he comes! Dish around the board, off to Nekis. Nekis now finds pass cover again to Orla. Pass broken up. Lapton's got a puck here with only nine minutes remaining. Passes to Couture. Couture lost that puck. Here's Tippett. He will have that one in range in sight. Moves it back again over to Couture. 
Gatora lost that puck. Now Orlov will set it out of here. And here he comes with the full man range. Philadelphia back in transition. Here's Poli. Try to hold the attacker. This one stops inbound. Poli recovers it to half away. Good crowd sound. Trying to keep that one popped out. Shoots! Saved by Kosikov! What a save here for the start of a first period! Still a tie game. Well, you know what happened to be Kosikov. That had to be no way on the difficult situation. It's not turning to be like what he does. He's trying to get that one covered up and blocking it. That's a great way to keep out. Now the win puts in for the Hurricanes. He now finds Jarvis and now over to get to Martina. Open room. Trying to look for a deflection. This one stopped again by Urson. Walker's going to clear that one out of here. And now he gives it over right back again to Katas. Here's Poley. And the range inbound. This one carries over. Sketchy back the airway. And now he gives it again to Petch. Deep the pass over. No offside whistle on Carolina. He is still short. Saved by Urson. Walker finds Poley. One on one opportunity. Good stop defensive play here as Stall will have it. Here's Nosen. Taken along by Fast. Fast in the corner. York's got that puck battling back. And now back the other way for the Flyers. Slavin's got the puck. Raging in. Gets it over to Nosen. He finds the Kikemi. Tries to puck the puck. Recovered it by York. York and Valley and Bow with only five minutes remaining in the first period. That one went stop again by Shakotchikov. He finds Fast. Fast on his way down. Looking to Kakuri's shot. What a save by Ersin. That one puts up a rebound. This one is not going to attend. But if, if Ersin was able to do this, he had to make that one clear. This is nowhere he could try to like defend it, and there was no way he's trying to keep that out. Good save by Kakashikov. Kakashikov and Slavin. Shot saved by Ursin. Under four minutes remaining in the first period, it's still a tie game. Now they're ready to do this one again. The tie has been released. 2-2 is a score for the hockey game. Now the win puts in, as Walker will have it over to Zeeler, and here's Atkinson. Try to cut in from the puck. Here's Sippet. Shoots! And that one stopped again by Akosikov. Here's Walker. Back now to shoot! That's blocked in traffic. Here's Zeeler. Save again! Akosikov putting another one for the save in the playoffs tonight. Try to keep it out. Here's Slavin, and now Ajo has got that one in the corner, not finding Terrifying in. Terrifying in, Trigoda scores! Sebastian Ajo got that deflected in. Now they have it in the lead. What a goal made. Sebastian Ajo really has to deliver it up after Terrifying in. Watch what he does. Here's what he did. If that one was crossed and in there, he was right in the corner. And he comes in, he tries to call for the crew, but then watch what happened. Tipped it in and put it back by Urson. What a great pass up. I know what to do, but Turvinen was trying to put that assist in there. And when that puck was flinging in the air, he knew he had to come away with that one. That's like a great pass up. He's been turning it over like he did before. We'll see what he does if he can do this again for the second assist in the playoffs. As he went down, here's Frost. Here's Walker right toward the back. Good stop by Kokechkov. Chopfield trying to clear the puck out. Here's Jarvis on a racing bound. Loses the puck as Katez will have it. He now finds it a half away. Half away on his way down, trying to look for some more room. Passing 90 seconds in the first period, a 3-2 score as Stahl will have it cut down. Zeeler on his way over. He is Kataz on his way down right into the, the Kane's territory. Clears the puck out. 
Last minute remaining in the first period. Walker trying to look for more help. Here's Nikes in the corner now, looking more room. On a shot, it's blocked. Marinuk again to Sketchy. Pass again. Drury shoots. That's saved by Erson. Just about 30 seconds remaining in the first period. We're going to get two more for the hard case. Wynn puts in for Philadelphia as York will have it now to left it. Forster at that puck. Drury takes it over. Here they come. Oh, he did not have that goal. This one stopped away. This one turns it out. Well, you're not going to get a better time than you're going to get it done. What a glove. And that one stops it up. Just 1.1 seconds in the first period. Wow. That is amazing. And a shot will not be enough in time. So that ends the first period. A deflection tipped in for Akko. We'll get to the second period when we come back after this. You're watching the NHL on, on EA Sports coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Be back soon after this. On now to the second period. Welcome back. Let's get back into the game. And we are ready to start the second period of the Hurricanes and Flyers. This was a better invitational as we send you over to Son of Beast for the recap of what Hurricanes done. Well, they're really doing a lot of like a hard work in the effort. I know they were trying to keep that one out of here, but this is nowhere luck. If they were pushing it, they were not even keeping it up at the same time. They were really trying to work its way on his board. That cross shot has to be like, what in world do you have to do if you can try to keep on coming out? But this is a tackling range moment. They were really picking it up. And then also, of course, the Bashnago even really picked up. Lockton wins the faceoff. York will have that puck and bounty now finds Forster. In the attacking zone, finds Fowlby shot, put by Kokechkov. Kokechkov's got that puck and ready to take another face off with just only 18.43 to go. Wynn puts up, locked in, good save by Kokechkov. Kuchetkov's putting a lot of a, a hard respection here on the defenders, but there might be no way if he can try to level up his increasement so he can try to keep on going. Yes, exactly true. If, if he does that one more, he might have a lot clearer vision if he can try to keep on saving it. This puck is a range on sight. He might be going for bigger tonight. We might find out if he can stick up with the season. This is his big one. He might be turning it big, but let me tell you why. Because of what he does, he does it all. Without Anderson and Branton. We haven't hit the midway mark in the period. It's still a 3-2 late game score, up by one. Hurricanes wins the faceoff as Slavin will have it. He now finds Burns, looks at it again to Slavin. He sides like the punting shot, way wide off the mark and it leaves the zone. Oh, that one is going to be a hard one to take. I thought that was going to be easier enough because he didn't get there. He messed that one up and it went shooting very, very too soon. That was a good range, but it didn't help at all. Slavin wants to clear that puck in range and now he finds it over to attempt to Burns. He now gives the Nekis and now over again. That puck went reached out and the passing went unaffected. New line change, and this one will stay outside, and this one goes back again to Senheim. Here's Tippett. This one gets crushed up to the corner as the Hurricanes are back in the offense zone. Carolina moving in deep. Stahl trying to look for a moment offense to pick up in. Sketchy finds Stahl. Stahl gives the Sketchy. Cheers! Club by Ursin. What a rapid fire! But this one denies and deflected away. Well, since Stormy would have saw that one, that one would have been a fire in there, and he made that goal. He could have had that one and a chance to do that, but there was no attempt to do this one anyway. 
Valley in the corner, recovered again by the Hurricanes. Jarvis finds again the pass. Here's a shot, Ranger Bell, slow! Timmy by Ersen! Under 15 minutes remaining and under siege. They're about to attempt this one to get right to the faceoff. Now the winning faceoff puts a Skidgy will have it. Here's Pesci will have it fire it over. Now again to Skidgy. Skidgy get back to Pesh. Here's an iron to Martin. Up. Good puck moving here for the Carolina Hurricanes. Jarvis again. Skidgy trying to look for some help. Pesh again to Jarvis. He lost that puck in control and now he has it over to Hathaway. Right into the gun. Put it off the goalpost. Bally for the loose puck of the chain as now Nosey will have it. He now slides it over. Kakenemi's got that puck. Pass it over. Broken up. Icing whistled here on the hard case. We'll get stopped in the play with just only 13 17 to go. Still a lot of time to make that play advantage. It's still a 3 2 game. Wing for the Flyers. Good block by Fast. Erickson stops that puck already. This one has already been taken down toward a wire, and Fast would have recovered it, but the goaltender saw that coming. He would have to look up. Svechikov has a skill up challenge to do with all of his tip inbound if he does it for all. Most of his connection is not always worthwhile when he does it with his lacrosse move. He might have a lot of the chances to do one of his technique. I know his team is up in the lead, but we have to keep on trying if there is another skill up momentum to keep on going with Svechikov. We'll find out if he does. Back to you, Paintbrush. Here's Hago with the puck. This one back passes to Slavic. Svechikov trying to fire it over to Ajo. Shot him out! Oh, this one way off the tip of the mark. Here's Forster. Valley for the loose puck. And it's left to recovering the puck with only 11.30 to go. Burns got that puck. Now finding Ajo as Carolina are back in the offense. Deep pass to Slavic. He now finds Ajo. Ago looking it over. The pass. Oh, Frost had that one to deflect that one with the pass over. Turns it away. There's no other way you're going to have to try to keep on passing it. If that tips in bound, you know you're going to have a hard time. You don't want to know if that one's going to stop you down. Here's punting. Oh, this is the way of tackling. He now finds Shotfield. Tippett's got that puck and now finds Atkinson. Puck denied that one with the pass. Nekis lost that puck. And here's Atkinson. Atkinson lost that puck. Drury will try to attempt to clear it out. This one stayed out as Walker will have that puck back again to Frost. Here's another one for Atkinson. Up in front, wide off the mark. Battling for the loose puck in the chain. Chopfield recovers the puck. Rebounded again by Orlov with only 9.08 to go. Here's Nekis. Here's Stahl. Shoots! And the corner rebound. Not able to make it that one. Chopfield right over towards the right. Now looking for Martin. Up. And there are no penalty called on Philadelphia Flyers as this one keeps out. Here's Tippett. Reaps a bound. What a save by Kachikov. A biggest takeout. On that kind of motion, this one's tacking in. Not always that you have to defend it, but you really got to show what you want to get it done. Wow. Coach Akov really got that one in there. I mean, he's been looking good. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I always think of. Shot stop again by Coach Akov. And there's a broken glass here. And this one's been stemmed up. What a big bruise here. Yeah, that's going to pain the glass already. What a big hit. And with that stick, he broken that glass up right away. They're going to have to replace a new one. Oh, man. Do we have to call that one to replace a new window? I don't know if there is. Oh, my God. 
There's no way that there is a lot of attacker that's trying to stay out. Oh, never do. He now finds Martin up. Here's Scudgy. And this one will have to carry offside. And this one will be under 7.15 to go in the second period. Now the Flyers wins the faceoff. Pesh got it back. Deep to zone. That's not going to get it up there as their number shot in the game is 20. Deep fire range misses wide and this one will have to reset it again for the Carolina Hurricanes. You know, when you do the puck, puck motion to take the drive, you have to pass it. That correction and respond doesn't be able to get enough perfection in there. It's a hard one to take, but no other comparison that they're trying to do, he doesn't want to get defended. Urson, what a save here with only 6.42 to go in the second period. We really have to be wound up if you want to take that one with the credit. Hurricanes wins the faceoff. Here's Slavin. Oh, what a stop by Urson. For the next game, for the last one, we've got the Oilers and the Vegas Golden Knights happening here at Rogers Place here in Edmonton, Canada. That will be coming up here later tonight at 10 p.m. here on Son of Peace. This will be a great matchup in between that we love to have. There might be one chance that there is a defending way for the defending champion of the Vegas Golden Knights. Beating against the Florida Panthers. But let's find out if they stay alive. Hopefully they might be doing it if they can. Burns gets back to Slavin and now find knows it. Cruising shot. Try to deflect that, but that one's too much bodies in the way. And this one's in traffic. Burns now find Kukinami. On the wrist to rebound. Lafton got that puck. Find it again to Forster. No penalty signal as the puck is made with the stick lift. Slavin, get to Svinchikov. In the corner now, looking for him. Slavin shot! What a save by Ursin! This one stopped him in the mouth to keep it out. 4.25 left to go in the second period. Trying to look for some open gap. More room to York. Philadelphia on a breakaway chain. Oh, what a save by Kotchikov. Got a save, this one's close. Not really a good show, you're going to get that one in time. Blocked a shot by York. 3.40 left to go in St. Hine. We'll have that puck and carried in. Closes out. What a big takeout for Orloff. Chatfield finds Neckis. Neckis crossing it inbound. Trying to look for Bunting. Bunny. He makes a swap to move. Rebound puts it away. And this one just goes over again by Ursi with another huge save. Shoot! Sure, Glove save by Kukachikov. Kukachikov's got a wheel down, down toward a wire with only 4 42 48 to go in the second period. Ready for another faceoff. Nearing the mark at the end of the second period. One goal lead as the Flyers are trailing by one. Hurricanes up by one. With only 2.49 to go. And now he finds Snackfest trying to get a little space in between. Looks to Orloff. And now he gives to Chatfield. Chatfield trying to look over and bound. The pass back to Bunting. Release the cannon. This one's blocked. Atkinson with the, with the show off in town. Now going back again to Frost. Drury. Cut inbound, that's taken away by Chatfield. Breaking way and chain is Chatfield. Tries to get off, save up by Ursin. What a mighty moment for the Flyers to take all of his response and save it again. Hash, not enough to get there. One minute remaining in the second period, still a one point lead advantage for the Hurricanes. Caught by Ursin. That's really like a hard maintain it. Not a pressurizing bit. There's no other questions of what is going to happen. If you don't get this one done right, you're never going to attempt it to do this on your own. You just got to make sure you get it done right. That's a great block for the Hurricanes defender. 
Final seconds in that uh, second period. Save again by Kosikov. And he went offside. Let's watch it again. I think Sean Walker must have hit his chest very badly when I mean, the puck was coming in flying across. He almost had to deflect it, but it was almost to be painful enough what he had to go for. We'll keep an eye on you shortly here after the second period is finished. The win for the faceoff, last one for the game. Beat across, and that will not be in time. That ends the second period. No goals in the game, but it's still a lead off for the Hurricanes. 3 2. We'll be right back after this. We are off to start for the third period in Carolina. Hope you're having fun with us. Let's get right to work. It has been a wild night in between to see the Flyers in the playoffs and a, and a franchise team of the Hurricanes in the ranking in the Metropolitan Division. I have a great feeling in between. Let's have over to you, Son of Beast, and what they did. They're doing really well with the offense, keeping it alive out there. They've been pushing battle with the attackers. I know it was coming in fast, but they are really are starting to pay things off with the price. This is what no one has ever done to make the attempt right out of it. They've been doing a lot of forcing to go with the attackers, but that was all it does turn to be a biggest chain off that you ever saw them coming inbound. I like it when they do it. I love it when they have that one sent off right away. Oh, it's great to have one here. Thank you. My pleasure. Here's the pass. I'll go. Freebooter scores. As the net moves ahead, it's a two-point lead for Svetikov. Two goals in the playoffs. When you're looking at it over, he went bumped out. He almost would have been attempt to make that goal, but watch what he does. If the other one didn't see it, he was flying across, trying to lift that net out of here. He didn't really think he wasn't going to be able to try to attempt it. That goaltender should have been called the no goal because the goal post was left so soon. They should have challenged it, but they did not. It was denied that they, they couldn't handle it all. That one turned to be like a good goal for Shechikov. As we have an update right now, I have it standing by here with Test Tube for, for an update on Sean Walker. Thanks guys, I talked to him one of the most recent years and, and unfortunately for now, his rib went broken. In all that defender, it doesn't turn to be like a great day for him. It had to be a one constant major makeover that it was turned to be like a broken rib right to the bone. And what happened is the uh, medical rooms are giving a deniable on that one and they say that rib has to be a painful look. That chest didn't go through at all. But that one had to be pain on that look. So that one will have to be suspended here for the first game. But we'll find out for the next couple of games. All right, Tessu, thank you so much. We appreciate Deshaun Walker for his speedy recovery for the playoffs of the game. He now finds pass over now again. Over over to Nekis. Nekis on a cutting ball. This one gets chopped up. The finding pass to Pesh. That pass, this pass has been lifted off and Sketchy will have to get it back. That pass is broken up. Try to do it when you're looking over. Look over, look over an open player. Don't get him caught up when you're looking at it. And now Drury will have it. Drury on his way down. Spins across the move. He now finds Burns, wants to go for the attempt. He now finds playing. He now wants to give off to Burns. Try to wrist it across. Atkinson with the puck steal. One on one opportunity. On the pass to Tim and shot. Save again by Kashikov. Neck is back the other way into the transition. Pass to Drury and he goes offside. 5 15 21 to go in the third period. Haven't made the midway mark just yet. Now the win for the Philadelphia Flyers, and they're back into Kane's territory. Get the pass to Hathaway. This one gets chopped. It's has will have it. Burns got to recover. Burns attempt to clear the puck out. Icy's waved off. Martin have that one coming inbound. Looks in middle, and Poling takes that puck steal. Hathaway have it across down. Here's Hathaway. He'll have it in right now into the Canes territory. Pass off to Kataz. 
Gets hazardous way down. Holy trying to look for clear. Save off by the goaltender. He's been looking like he was clear enough. Trying to keep that one coming out. But good, good made, good call. Keep that save coming. Katayas blocked the pass. Katayas recovers it. And now back the airway for the Hurricanes. Here's the pass to Stahl. Stahl firing the puck around the board as Martinuk gives it again to Taravainen. He shoots! Saved off by Kersing. What a big save. Left and back in track. That pass broke it up. Now the Carolina Hurricanes are back in their offensive zone. Svechikov into the into the range side on the flyer zone. He gets it again to Orlov. Back pass again to Chatfield. Chatfield trying to avoid the defender. He goes battling along the board, and the puck will escape the zone. The Hurricanes are back in and back in their zone, and now Stahl will have it. Finds a pass, and he does it again. Offside's been whistled on the Carolina Hurricanes. Still a lot of time left in the period. It's still a 4-2 game as Hurricanes are up by two. Now as Fairbairn will have to leave it up here as the numbers win puts up for Stalk. Forrester trying to hold it up without getting attacked and no penalty on Philadelphia. Well, it's easy to say now because he had that one clear coming in. This was nowhere luck. That one's going to be a push-off if he has to attempt that. Ago trying to get in the middle. In the corner now is Ago. Trying to fight Svechikov. A third goal won't count in. Here's Pest. Right towards the offensive side. Now finds Sketchy. Sketchy over again. Finds a pass as Pest. Here's Svechikov. And here's Atkinson. He'll have that one coming inbound. Good takeoff defender as recovered by Pax. Nosen with the new line group substitution. He finds Kakeda shot. Save off by Ursin. What a big stopping timer to get that out. That clearing one is not always impossible. You have to be on the pursuit to look out for the puck incoming. Look out. Save off by Ursin. And Sketchy. Pass out a really shot, he scores! Oh, what a beauty play! As Pash has his first goal in the playoffs. They extend it up by three. If that's how you want for Brandon Pash, watch what he does. Made that swoop move, good cut motion, and beating over to Erson, he made that one clear enough to get that goal. That is amazing shot. You count that in, get it done. Hurricanes extend their lead. It's now a 5-2 game. Looks like they wanted a celebration to start things off in the first game of the season in the playoffs. But this was nowhere luck to be pushed back as the Hurricanes kick on cut. They really do want to maintain it differently, but they got to keep on going. Well, let's find out he does. Save again by Cuckhead. Oh, Kachikov. Here's Kilkenemy. He finds it again to Fast. Fast moving his way down towards the right wing. And Kilkenemy will have it. Get to Fast. Kilkenemy recovers it. Pesh has it. Open look to Sketchy. Finds Kilkenemy. Shoots. Saved by Ursin. What a shot made. But this one's knocked out as Ursin gloved it up. He's still trying to keep it going in there. Can't leave a mark. And now Sketchy. Get the puck over the fast. In the corner range, looking for more room. Firing around the net as Drury will have it. Gates got the puck. Now back to the Flyers to the Canes territory. Trying to cover inbound, but Burris has it back. And now Neckis with only seven minutes to go. Keep the clock wind down. And now back to Skidgy. Neckis back the airway to Burns. He finds back to Neckis. Trying to look for more room. What will he do? But he's recovered. In corner now is Nekis. He finds Sketchy. Over now to Burns. Burns. Sketchy shoots. Save off by Ursin. 
a big tacker. Now back again to Hathaway. Here's a fast break. Shoots! What a pass saved by Kostyakov. Another save in the playoff game. Carolina back up in the attacking zone. Trying to give her up a go. Here's a give and go pass to Marta. Shoots! Backhand stopped by Ursin. Just 523 left to go in the third period. Now they're ready to do again with another face-off. It's still a 5-2 game for the Hurricanes. Hurricanes back into the defensive zone. And Sennheim give it again to Farby. We are down to five minutes in the, in the regulation period. Marina give it again to Stahl after saved by Mark Konchikov. Here's Stahl. Shoots it away. Deep one snaps it by. Ursic's going to hold on with only five minutes remaining in the third. Officially the game set, ready for another face-off. The win puts in for Sennheim, and now back again to the Flyers on their side. Forcer got it across, and Ursic will have to hold it here. Just only 4-3 to go. Now for the win, here's St. Hine. St. Hine across the left end. Now pass to York. Here's this York going down to the fast break. Pushing well, drive. This one's wide off the mark. And Svechikov will have it. Loses that one as Farby will have it. Farby looking it in. And Slavin has it recovered. Hurricane's back to the other side. He wants to give the auto. Shoots! Caught by Ersan. Oh, what a good look for Ajo, but that goaltender got him time. That really has to be what he does. Timing is worth like you did. Off to another win for the Flyers. And Farby have that one across. Farby up in the corner. Ajo trying to hold on to him. Teravainen's got that belt. Olaf's got it now with the rebound if he goes down. Here's another one. Here's Fletcher got shot for three. No, that one stopped by Ersan. 2.40 left in the third. And we're getting a lot of heavy taker in between. I know they are. Because they're doing this, it does mean that there's a lot of great attacking coming into motion. Hurricanes, Storm, Flyers, fly high. There might be another way they can try to handle it off. They really wanted to try to pour the pressure on him without getting over it. And Chatfield back again to Button. Here's an early one to take for Chatfield. And now back again to Drury. Drury back again to Bunny. He finds again to Chatfield. Shots again. Skirts and makes a save. We are under two minutes remaining in the third period. And now let's have another look and see what they did. The win for the Flyers. And now back to York. With under two minutes remaining, he now finds Sipet. This one gets bumped up. Bunny again and Drury. Trying to get the other shot. It's blocked up. Sketching again to Drury. He now finds Pets. This one back again to Bunny. Here he comes. Shoots. Save again by Ersan. Another one big save, another attacker. This one keeps on coming. Shot went wide. Last minute remaining in the third period. They really want more pressure here, but it looks like they're going to get a first win for the Hurricanes. While the other twos are not really that great, they're having a little bit of a difficult time. They wanted to try to like, you know what? We couldn't handle it all. This was nowhere luck. They couldn't get that one stopped and saved. Marita, but to save up and ready for her last faceoff. 60 seconds left in the third. Now let's get right into what we got for the third. Let's have a take here. The test did we think we had the best? Well, I have to say now, I'm thinking that Svechikov has really been doing a lot of his two technique. He skilled it up there for a second. Sometimes he was definitely doing it once more. He can try to take it off. Last one shot stopped it off again by 
Ursen. And stall, up again. And the shot, that is it. Hurricanes win their first game against the Flyers with a 5-2 game. All goes to Kutchekov with the first win in the playoffs. That's what he do. You have to give out with that one a good look, give a credit, and you can make that one come into a live game. A win-off, take on all. This game, along with Paintbrush Mini and the Centerpiece and Test Tube, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. All right, thank you so much. Time for three star players in the game. Third star goes out to Jacob Slavin. They have it all coming in with the first goal and assist. They all got to beat three kids at the same time. But I assisted Perry in to start things off. The second start goes to Andrei Shutikov with two goals in the game. And now we'll have to be all for a coverage inbound to keep on coming in. And we are first start player. It has to be a great work to give a welcome to Sebastian Ago with a goal and three assists. And here's how he did with the statistics. 40 over 32 for the Carolina Hurricanes. 33 over 22 for Philadelphia on the hit. Then it was 5-13 time on the attack. 14-29 time on attack for Carolina. 89 over 78 for Philadelphia Flyers. It was 31 face-off wins over 12 for Philadelphia. Two-minute penalty kill, no power play goal, and that was their power play per minute for the Flyers. Well, I must say now, I mean, this has been really like a domination. I mean, they're just like going everywhere. I'm sorry, everybody, you guys, I wasn't able to get a chance to do this, but hopefully the next game will happen too. Well, you might find out for a light bulb if we'll get into the Sarah's. We'll find out what he does. Anyway, thanks for joining with us. If you're all waiting for the last game, get ready. It's the Oilers and the Knights. As we bring down to the last conclusion here for the Canadian versus the USA Hockey. Here in between the first four days of the game, and I'll be at 10 p.m. right around the corner. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everybody, for a while as the NHL of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports Style. Goodbye everyone. See you all later for the last game. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.